Crystal with Pineapple Papers and I am back with another process video for my For the Love of Paper Pad series. And this time I started with the Crate Paper Wonder Collection. And I'm going to pull my background paper from the DIY Shop paper pad. And then of course I pulled out way too many embellishments as I normally do. Um, I pulled out these two wood pieces from Heidi Swap that say Epic Adventure. So I'm going to use that as my title. I have these Chamel puffy stickers and these were from, I had it on the tip of my tongue and now I don't know. Okay. Little, little you maybe. Um, and then I have these Heidi Swap speech bubbles. I have some Hobby Lobby poppies and papery embellishments. Some Amy Tan Today White Thickers. I have three of these DIY Shop uh, burlap bows. I have one piece of this cool kid pendant. Chamel's photo overlays. I got an X and you'll see why in a little bit. Um, I pulled this little tassel because it's getting ruined in my stash. So I thought maybe I can get that on something. Some October afternoon banners. Some Remarks Baby Girl Ephemera. Some Fancy Pants Collecting Moments Bags. Some Tiny Word Stickers. And those are from Heidi Swap. I have two packages of those. And then these little arrows and geotags from Paper Studios. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the picture. Actually, it's two pictures that I'm going to be scrapbooking. They are the x-ray pictures of when our puppy got hit by a car. And she broke her tib fib, which are the two bottom bones in your leg. And it broke it at the growth plate. And so you can actually see in the picture how the growth plate has fallen off. So, I mean, I thought it was very interesting. <laughs> so I took those pictures and I wanted to scrapbook them. So I love this paper. It almost has like strained confetti or something and I thought well that'd be fun to just cut out along the line and I didn't quite know what I was going to do past that and I was thinking okay well I kind of like them stacked up now do I want them in an angle or how do I want to do that so then I thought okay well what if I alternated it so it would be the stringed and then it would be a couple of the other pieces of pattern paper in between. So I use it as a, a template basically and cut those two other pieces. Then I took them to my sewing machine and sewed them together. Now at this point, I kind of like the idea of doing two corners with two different colored papers, but I wasn't sure, did I want them in the corners, like diagonally from each other? Did I want them both on the top? Did I want them both on the side? Wasn't really sure um, what I was gonna do there. So I kind of played with that a little bit and then just put them back to where I originally had them. Now, I needed to back my photos with something so that it popped. And that's why I picked this black paper. And originally I wanted the scallops to kind of go on the bottom, but then I didn't like how the pictures were sitting. And then there was this paper that had all of the words on it. And one of the words was brave. And I thought, oh, that's so perfect for our little puppy. She was so brave through all the surgeries and stuff. So now that made that piece extra big. And so I put the scallops on the side. And I like how that looks 
a lot better. And here I am definitely committing to that little corner and the fact that my my main piece is going to be in the middle. So I decided to just add a little bit of glue and call it good. Now, I didn't like the idea of both of the pieces of paper. I don't know. It just felt really matchy-matchy, and I wasn't, I wasn't feeling really matchy-matchy at the time. So I only did one little piece of that beautiful floral down there in the bottom. Now, here I'm going to go through my embellishments. I like this acetate piece that says wander. So I go ahead and stick that at the top and then another piece and it just has a little bit of gold and that'll go on the bottom to kind of round that out. Now that be brave is super cute and it will end up there kind of at the top somewhere. I'm just not quite sure at this point because I'm not sure what else is going up there. I added that little bag from Fancy Pants to put some journaling in at some point. <laughs> and that wood veneer X, I actually bought that packet for like, I don't know, 30 cents or something. And I bought it for the two cute little wood veneer arrows, not actually for the X. I'm like, when am I ever going to use a big X on, because I didn't buy any O's, so it can be XO. Um, so I'm going to use it as part of my title which is x-ray um, down there at the bottom. And I love those little crocheted flowers and the tassel to bring in some more of that gold. I love how that looks. So originally I thought that my title was going to be Epic Adventure, which in reality it was... <laughs> Um, but it just, it, it didn't really fit. Like I just, I wasn't feeling it. Like I'm really liking the way this is looking. There are those wood veneer arrows and I'm just bringing these studio calico tiny stickers in for the rest of that x-ray. So I did add a tag and some tiny word stickers and also that epic, so the title is Epic X-Ray. So I hope you are enjoying this series, and I would love to see you play along. So remember to wear your crown, and we'll see you next time.